Welcome. So what we're going to do in this one is I have x divided by 3 minus 6 divided by 10 plus 4 over x. So we have a complex fraction on our hand. And what we need to do is we need to simplify this. Now, a couple ways that I talked about is simplifying ways that we can combine the numerator and the denominator so we can get them to uh, fractions, and then we can just multiply by the circle like we've done before. Um, but in this case, I have, you know, this one isn't that wouldn't be too bad to do that. I would just have to combine these two fractions and these two fractions. And we just have to do that by getting, your multi, uh, getting the same denominator. However, there is another method that we can do. And what we can do is we can just take, look at the denominator of every single term. And if we multiply, um, find the common denominator, the least common denominator of every single one of our terms, and if we multiply every single term by that, well, what that's going to do is then we can always combine all of them together and then uh, simplify it from there. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to determine that all my, out of all my denominators, I have 3, 1, 1, and x. So I'm going to say my LCD is going to equal 3x. So now what I'll do is I'll multiply every single term times 3x. OK? So by multiplying by 3x, what we have, let's use uh, actually a black. So multiplying by 3x, we see my 3s will divide out to 1. That's going to leave me with an x squared. Over here, I'll have minus uh, 3 times x is going to leave me with a negative 18x. And I'm just going to have 1 in my denominator. All over, this will be 30x. And then over here, my x's will divide out, and I'll be left with plus 12. Now you can say that, all right, now it's not a complex fraction. So I've done the hard part of getting rid of the fractions. Now we just need to determine is, you know, how else can I simplify this any further? Well, we can factor out an x in our numerator. So if I factor out an x, I'm left with an x minus 18. And then in my denominator, I can see that they share a common term of 6. So if I factor out a 6, I'll be left with a 5x plus 2. And therefore, that's going to be my simplified answer. And I can use this because I'm not dealing with any fractions in the numerator or denominator. So that will be my simplified answer. Thanks.